Roger Carter here again to talk about another hybrid rudiment, uh, another extension of my uh, inverted inverted series of uh, cheeses and fives. Uh, this one's going to be called a uh, double blue cheese. Uh, it harkens back to the previous uh, videos that I did on the blue cheese. This one is in a, pa a grouping of five. You could consider it a five lit or, or five sixteenth notes, but it's it's five notes in this pattern. And uh, the reason I called it the double blue cheese is it, it somewhat lines up with, say, a double flam drag um, in that uh, there's a, a diddle on the fourth note. So whereas double, double flam drag, right, well, we're going to blue cheese the first part and then another one. All right, so I have it in a grouping of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You'll notice I'm bringing up my first two notes with an accent, little double accent there. That's one way to do it. You can also keep that second accent low. As you can hear, it's tough to keep those grace notes tight. Uh, a few of mine opened up a little wider than I wanted them to be. And the, the challenge with this and all these inverted, inverted cheese licks is that from the primary note to the second note, I have to freeze down so that way I can drop in that grace note. You're going to want to put some pressure with the fingertips, of course with the fulcrum. If you're the type of player that really lets go like this, it's not going to happen. It's a lot tougher to play if you're not controlling your implement. Now, if you're just starting out on this video, I highly recommend uh, going back and checking out my earlier videos. Uh, specifically, you should start with the blue cheese. That one has the best flow and it's the easiest to grasp right away. Um, from there, you can start doing some more of these variations like the inverted inverted fives, inverted inverted cheese. Uh, and then when you get to the double blue cheese, which is the one we're covering now, you'll have a little bit of background and a better understanding of how to approach this rudiment um, from checking out the previous ones. And now I'm going to do an exercise that incorporates the blue cheese and the double blue cheese. So I'm going to play four blue cheese, which are a grouping of three and four double blue cheese, which are a grouping of five. I'll go back and forth, four of each, twice. A little faster. faster. So I've introduced hopefully some new ideas and techniques for you at the uh, inverted inverted uh, series blue cheese rudiments um, as with anything you're going to want to focus on quality of sound uh, it's not as important at how fast you can play it but how well you play it much more important to play with a, a nice quality open consistency of sound rather than just really fast and tight so the speed will come but make sure you maintain the quality and the, and the sound first and foremost and there it is have fun with it Thank <laughs> you.